The first step of creating a screen shake effect is to go into effects and search for transform. That should be in distort. We're going to drop that onto the video clip. We'll go to where we want the screen shake to appear. And in transform, we're just going to increase the scale a little bit. We'll move the position up a touch. Then we'll create a brand new keyframe on rotation at zero. And then we'll go two frames to the right, pull the rotation to two. Two frames to the right again, we'll go minus two. Two frames again to the right, we'll go one. Two frames to the right, minus one. And then two frames to the right will be zero. Let's play that back. You can see that's a very subtle screen shake. Of course, if you wanted something more dramatic, then we could increase the rotation. So if you go to five and then minus five, for example, you can see that's going to be a lot more dramatic. But once you've done that, we just want to convert that last keyframe to an ease in. And we're just going to increase the gap. So we're just slowly coming out of this. Then we're going to select use composition shutter angle or shutter speed. And we're going to change the shutter angle to 180. And when we play this back, you'll notice we've now introduced some motion blur. So if I go through frame by frame, if I pull that to zero, you can see there's no motion blur. But if I go 180, we now have some motion blur. And the great thing is this is now complete and it's done with keyframes. So if we just highlight all of those, copy them by going command or control C, move over and control or command V, we can copy and paste. And that is the screen shake or the earthquake effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro.